Today on Northo 2, we are going to be talking about Leviathan. Leviathan was a giant raptorial sperm whale that preyed on other whales. It competed with the famous Megalodon and had the largest biting teeth of any known animal. Before we talk about how fascinating this animal was, let's talk about its evolution. Leviathan is an extinct genus of sperm whale. The genus contains one species, Leviathan melvelli. To me, this is one of the coolest names of a prehistoric animal. The name Leviathan comes from the biblical sea monster known as Leviathan. The species name Mavelli comes from the name Herman Melville, the author of the famous book Moby Dick. The earliest sperm whale fossils are found from the late Eocene about 25 million years ago. Sperm whales became quite dominant in the Miocene. Animals like Zygophysiter and Brygmophysiter were large toothy beasts. These animals were all considered sperm whales. They all had melons and spermaceti organs on their head. These organs allowed them to communicate and use echolocation. Since these organs don't fossilize, it is hard to determine how developed they were in these animals, but it is assumed that they could be used for echolocation. These animals hunted marine mammals like large baleen whales and smaller animals like seals. Baleen whales were getting larger to defend against increased predation, but the predators followed suit. These large whales provided the food for their massive predators. Modern baleen whales have little to no predators, but back in the Miocene they had to worry about not only giant raptorial sperm whales, but also the infamous megalodon. Megalodon lived alongside these whales and likely competed for the same food. Whether that means fighting for territory, we will never know. It is possible that these animals did fight. I am sure it happened at least once in the millions of years they coexisted. The largest of these whales and surely one of the most fearsome animals ever to exist was the aforementioned Leviathan. Leviathan was huge, it is thought to have been about the same size as modern sperm whales, but much, much deadlier. This was anywhere from 16 to 17 and a half meters or 53 to 57 feet in length. But also keep in mind, sperm whales are only about 50 or 60 feet long, but some can be about 80 feet long, so some Leviathan individuals could have been well above 57 feet. It was also very massive at an estimated 57 tons or 125,000 pounds. This large size was likely enough to ward off predators and allowed it to feed on whatever it wanted. Its skull alone was 3 meters or 9.8 feet in length. Not only was it long, but it was very robust. The jawbones were very thick and also allowed for very strong muscles to be attached. These jaws were among the most powerful in the history of life on Earth. Unlike the modern sperm whale, it had teeth in both of its jaws. These teeth were the largest functional biting teeth that ever existed. They were over a foot in length and put T-Rex teeth to shame. They were conical and had a curved tip, fit closely together and they could shear off flesh. They also interlocked, this stopped prey from escaping their grasp. The teeth vary in size with the largest being 1.2 feet long and 4.5 inches in diameter. The teeth at the front of the mouth project forward at a nearly 45 degree angle. Its head contained the same spermaceti organ seen in modern sperm whales. It was a large organ filled with oil and wax separated by connective tissue. This organ does a number of things. It can be used for echolocation and communication. It can also be used for ramming rivals or prey. Another possible use is regulating buoyancy by heating or cooling the wax. All three of these uses were likely used in the daily life as a leviathan. Leviathan was an apex predator. It likely had a profound impact on the structuring of Miocene marine communities. It hunted prey near the surface and its diet consisted of mainly medium-sized baleen whales. These whales were about 7 to 10 meters or 20 to 30 feet in length. It also ate sharks, seals, dolphins, and other large vertebrates. It may have hunted its prey in a number of ways. Modern killer whales pursue prey to wear them out and then drown them. It may have hunted in groups, but considering the power of its jaws, it may have been fine hunting alone. Isotopic analysis of enamel from a tooth from Chile revealed that this individual did not exclusively feed on baleen whales. Fossils of Leviathan have been found in Peru and Chile. Large sperm whale teeth have been found in other places including Australia, Argentina, and South Africa. 
These teeth may have belonged to Leviathan or related species. Regardless, this distribution tells us that they may have been limited to the southern hemisphere. The warmer waters around the equator have been known as a climatic barrier for numerous cetaceans since the Neogene times. A possible hypothesis for this distribution is they were unable to cross the equatorial barrier. However, it is possible that Leviathan fossils exist elsewhere and we just have yet to find them. Leviathan-like sperm whales became extinct by the early Pliocene likely due to a cooling trend causing baleen whales to increase in size and decrease in diversity. They likely became extinct with the smaller whales they fed on. Their extinction also coincides with the emergence of the killer whale as well as large predatory globocephaline dolphins. These competitors were better off because they did not need to feed on large marine mammals. Leviathan fossils date back to 10 to 13 million years ago. Interestingly, teeth are found that are about the same size and shape but are only 5 million years old. This tells us that related species likely survived longer than once thought. The modern sperm whale likely survived due to its diet of mainly cephalopods. There are three modern species of sperm whale including the aforementioned sperm whale, the pygmy sperm whale, and the dwarf sperm whale. These species are all very interesting and I have made videos on them and you should check them out. Before I end the video I should talk about who would win between Leviathan and Megalodon. I've actually made a whole video about this but let me sum up my thoughts. If these animals were going to fight, it would have mattered most who got the first bite. Their bite forces are so powerful and their teeth are so deadly that one bite might be able to kill each other. I do also want to note it is possible that Leviathan might try to ram Megalodon. This sounds kind of lame and uh, unlikely, but modern sperm whales have sunk ships weighing five times as much as them with a ram. A good ram could stun a megalodon and then it could just finish it off with a bite. I think both animals have a near equal chance, but Leviathan's intelligence might give it the edge. If you want to watch the video I made on this, I go into much more depth, so uh, I'll link that in the description. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you like this video. Leviathan is one of my favorite prehistoric animals. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. I'll see you on the next episode of Ortho 2. See ya.